Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Woody Allen's new film, A Rainy Day in New York. <sighs> this film is everything that's wrong with Woody Allen at this point. And I really did not like this film. I'll get that off right at the bat. And I'll get the positives right off the bat. It's beautifully shot. The design is great. There's one particular hotel that just is picturesque. The camera movements are great. The music works so well. And all the actors really go in trying to deliver really strong performances. But this feels like a cookie cutter cliche of every Woody Allen film. And it feels very stale at this point. It's the same stale just zippy kind of Woody Allen dialogue that you've heard so many times, but so much of it doesn't work now. And in this context, and one of the biggest things I had against this film is every main, the main male character, Timothy Chalamet's character, Gatsby, this, this movie is extremely pretentious. Pretentious, pretentious, pretentious. He just talks like a pretentious asshole. And he acts just like Woody Allen. If Woody Allen was an 84 years old, he pro probably would have starred in this film. He wrote this for him, and you can even tell that Timothy Chalamet is doing a little bit of a Woody Allen impression. And so is Liev Schreiber. And so is Jude Law. Basically, all these male characters feel like just Woody Allen, and they're all trying to be Woody Allen. They're trying to look like Woody Allen. Like, Jude Law looks like he's dressed up supposed to be Woody Allen. And they're despicable. I hated the characters in this sh movie so much. And I didn't really care about any of them. Gatsby is such a jerk. And so with his nose up at everybody. And like Elle Fanning's character is just chasing basically stardom and really doesn't care about Gatsby. As you can see it as the film goes on and she's just trying to get in with the next celebrity and all these creepy men are all hitting on and wanting to be with like Diego Luna and Jude Law and Liev Schreiber all at least close to middle-aged men or middle-aged men hitting on this 21 year old Al Fanning character and I'm just like oh sounds like Woody Allen and there's such on the nose of noxious dialogue, there's one character that Gatsby runs into earlier on that is very obviously a representation of what Woody Allen thinks of like mainstream moviegoers, and it's so on the nose and it's so mean spirited, and the dialogue is so awkwardly pretentious and just throwing in big words for the sake of big words, and like nobody really talks like this, and in the end, this sh film, I felt like, didn't go anywhere, didn't accomplish anything, and didn't make me feel anything except for frustration because it was still going. And I don't feel like I got anything out of watching this film in any way. And that's really unfortunate because, like, Woody Allen is a talented director. And I feel like he's just l lazily just going through the motions at this point. And this feels like just going through the motions. So, a rainy day in New York is a pretty d disappointing time, unless you're just in love with everything Woody Allen, and you don't even care that, like, you've seen these same exact things, you've heard these same exact things before, and you're just going to eat it up, well, you'll enjoy a rainy day in New York. If you're looking for something fresh and interesting, it's really going to make you feel things and make you think, this one really doesn't have that. It's just Woody Allen doing the greatest hits of Woody Allen. And all the actors, male actors, trying to be Woody Allen. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.